Hello, how are you? Well, it's Monday, and uh, we had a great time yesterday in the house of the Lord. Uh, we uh, were able to worship the Lord, to sing praises unto him, uh, to pray, to to not only preach, but to receive the word of God. And we were able to respond to the things of God and do business with the Lord. That's that's what happens. And it's good. It's something that is not only commanded, but it is something that you and I need to do. And so thank you for joining with us. It was a great day in the house of the Lord. Sunday morning, uh, Sunday school and, and the morning worship, and then also Sunday evening, it was great. I tell you, I was exhausted by the end of the day. It was a it was a busy week last last week. Uh, we had a funeral on on Saturday, and and uh, uh, the church just did a wonderful job uh, trying to be a blessing to that family. And so, church, I want to just say thank you for that. Uh, but I tell you, that's just that's just the way it is. It, that's what Christians are supposed to do. And uh, we we love this world as far as the people that are in it. We 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 want to we want to try to be a blessing. We want to try to be a good example. And church, you were. And so I want to just thank you so very much. Hey, please continue to pray for the, the the many requests that we've made. Of course, Brother Jack this week as he has surgery on his back. Of course, for the Brother Bill Lawrence, uh, Sister Pat Hewlett. And uh, the the Smith family, uh, we talked about that uh, yesterday as well. Uh, just please continue to pray, okay? Hey, Susan and I are going to be uh, at a fellowship meeting tomorrow. And uh, uh, Susan and I are going to be talking about uh, the subject of uh, growing emotionally in the ministry. And uh, so just pray for us that we might, uh, you know, uh, be, you know, say the right things and God, God will be able to use this. Uh, and so, uh, we ask, I just ask for your prayers. Okay. All right. Well, let's get started with our devotion today that it might be an encouragement to you and a very familiar passage. As you know, we are in the book of James and, and I'm just going to be picking out different, uh, uh, verses, uh, through, uh, throughout this particular book. Uh, but this one, I just, I couldn't pass it up. The Bible says in James chapter one, verse number 22, but be you doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving your own selves. You know, <clears throat> I hope and pray that you take your faith uh, of the Lord seriously. You know, that's the way it ought to be. You know that, that our faith should go beyond just hearing the word of God, being aware of the word of God, but literally that we are doers of his word. I mean, that's how our faith grows. That's how our faith uh, uh, is challenged. And by doing God's, we get to know the Lord. We get to know what he says. We learn uh, how to trust him and all of those things as you and I become doers of the word. And so this week, as you go about, uh, let's be doers, let's be determined to to do what God would have us to do. Let's let's live by the word of God. Let's let's put it in our lives. And the reason why so that first of all, we will grow in our faith. Not only that, God will work in our lives and and I tell you, that's that what a blessing that is that God is changing us from the inside out. And that's through the word of God. So as we as we do it, as we practice it, as we learn to follow him, as we obey. Can I tell you this? Also, by doing the word of God, it protects us. It really does. Uh, I tell you, <clears throat> we, it, you know, it's only by the grace of God that uh, um, we are who we are and and I tell you, we never really realize how much God protects us simply because you obey God's word. And it keeps us out of trouble. It keeps us uh, uh, in the direction that we ought to go. And so God protects us. There's a lot of folks that sure needs protecting. And so I, I, I want to challenge you, be doers of the word. Be doers of the word. Let God work in your life today. He'll bless you. Oh, he will. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Are we children of God? Then let's do the word of God, okay? Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for your precious word. And I pray, Lord, that we will, uh, Lord, may, may we not just be a Sunday Christian, but Lord, help us 
um, Monday through Saturday. Lord, help us to live for you. Help us to do what you say. And Lord, I pray that as a result, our lives will change for thy honor and for thy glory. Bless us, I pray in Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.